Okay guys, so we got to the campground. It's a really sucky day. It's been raining all day. And we can't get in here until about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But we were going to go to a, another park, Fort Cooper, and we couldn't go there because it was just raining all day. So we are at the campground. It is late. It's almost 4 o'clock. Um, and of course, it's pouring out. Just the pouring out. We are to be here, well, I'm going to be here one night, and then he's going to do a solo by himself tomorrow night. If it goes to plan, which you can see is not doing very well. So, I don't know what we're going to do. But we got a couple of reviews that we're going to do, and we'll get, decide what we're, where we're going to put everything, and then we'll be right back, and I'm going to show you some of the reviews. Okay guys, so we've decided to stay here and we're going to put the thing up first. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they got all their stuff over there in that shelter, so we can't even go and use the shelter. It would have been nice to be able to we really wanted to be over there because, you know, we could have used the shelter to stretch our legs and stuff with all this rain. So, he wants to do it here. So, we're going to put up our tent. Yes, we got a tent. So, uh, we're going to do a review thing and he's going to put it up. And we're afraid of these trees up here to go back there. So we're going to put it right here, I think. Right over here somewhere. Back here. So we're going to put it there. And somebody had a fire pit right there. So, But we'll bring the car back a little bit more. And we'll put it right here. So we're not not so far back because one of those tree limbs way up there has broken and it's huge. You don't realize how huge they are until they fall down on the ground. And I can imagine having that on my friggin' car. No thanks. Or a tent. It could kill you. This is the one right here. That, that, that tree limb that's like against that tree is what was up there. Right there. So, we don't want to get this far back. So, yeah. I like it over here because it's private. But then we got a lot of these, you know, so we're going to move it up a little bit, do up there. And uh, as soon as he gets everything together, I'm going to put you on the tripod and you guys can watch him put it up. This one's going to be a different one. So hang in there. Brand new tent, come on. Yep, brand new tent. But it does something special. Yes, it does something special. We're not going to tell you. Right. We're going to let you watch it. Right. And you'll see that here shortly. Right. Now, the instructions on this, which they tell you before you order this in red letters, mm -hmm. you know, under the specifications everything, that it is in Chinese. But it does have pictures. It's pretty much a tent. But... <clears throat> If they looked at the bottom of that, it probably gave it away. But yep, you probably did. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you probably just did. I'm going fast forward. I don't know what she's doing. Really? What? Oh no. What are those? Setting up the tent. Wow. Hmm. They all oh, like fine. that? A little bit there. 
Hmm. Box wasn't wet. No. Uh uh. Nope. I'm going to put it out and then we can turn it wherever we want. Okay. What I do like is these. Yeah, those these are really have nice. Some spikes. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? She was filming too, so <laughs> nice hefty spikes. Yes. All right. Spider leg. Oh my god.
Don't don't pull it because it'll pull it apart. Okay. Are you not? It's gonna fall. See what I mean? What I'm saying is, okay. I have to take it out like I just did. I was falling out straight on the roof. Interesting. Okay, so they do 
have the screen yeah. in the flap. That's nice. That's what we wanted. Yep. So guys, what this does, do you want me to reveal on yours? So what monkey's gonna explain it to you. What this does, it is a regular tent, but it also attaches to the SUV. So we keep this up, we put this on here, we're gonna show you how it's done, and that way we can use it both ways. And um as a tent, or yep. we're gonna back well, I guess I'll back the SUV up here in just a right. second. See, we want to use the car to sleep in, and then we wanted to have some extra room. So we can sit in here when it's when it's raining, raining all the time. So every time we go camping, it's friggin' raining. So this would give us a place to go sit, to watch a movie in here, to put our stuff that's in the back of the car and put it in here. Oh, no. What? Look. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. So these got tied, got twisted when we were putting it up. Got in between the pole. So we'll have Great. to fix that. So, but this is what it looks like inside. I think this is going to be great. Even as a tent. You know, we can use this as a tent. He wants to do a solo camping, and that's what he's going to do tomorrow night. He's going to do a solo camp by himself tomorrow night in this. Yeah, so. Yeah, you got a little hook up there. You can do light. It's screened. So we have screen here. And then we have the cover too. So that is nice to have because we wanted airflow when it was attached to the car. So in the summertime, because it's get really, really hot, you know, and we can have airflow go through there. Also, this is going to be nice for Bruno because Bruno's going to be able to walk in here when we're attached to the car. And he could sleep down here if he wants. Or he can sleep with us yeah, in the car. Zip up and cover this in. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. So you can use it both ways, which we like. Oh, no. How much did we pay for this? You remember? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> well, I'll put it in here on the bottom here somewhere, so you guys know the price of it. We bought this one off of Amazon, right? eBay. eBay? It was off of eBay. One forty-five-ish. Yeah, 145. I'll put it in here. So, um, I'm sure he's got it on his phone. So, yeah, I looked at one on Timu and I asked him if he liked it because I didn't want to just buy it and then him not know about it. Well, Timu doesn't ship them. For whatever reason, we could not get it shipped. So, probably cost too much, maybe. I don't know. So, we looked on other places. And we found another one, didn't we, babe? And it was basically the same thing. And but they were small. And they were smaller than this one. And that one was sold ended up being sold out, right? No. <laughs> the never, one <laughs> they never shipped it. They never shipped it. So I'd have put it in for a refund. Right. But then they said, Well, it was sold out. And I said, Well that's funny because there was five more when I ordered it. Uh-huh. You know? Right. Because it had green or blue right so well that's funny uh-huh and they was like well you know we got one similar i said well show me some pictures and they said well we can't actually send you the pictures right now i said i'm not gonna i'm not gonna buy something i don't even know you know well it costs more but we'll let you have it at the same price i said i don't care i want to see what it is mm -hmm. and finally i didn't hear back from them for a day or so and i said Refund my money now. I'm done with you. I'm going to order somewhere else. I ordered this one. It came in two days. Mm -hmm. It was here the third day. Hmm. Amazing. So, anyways, where did our little creature go? 
because he's want he was wandering. I... Now, it's supposed to be waterproof. I hope it is because there's no yeah there's no rain slide, but we do have a tarp. Yeah, so it has more than one door here, so that's nice, and we'll need that for a cross of ventilation. This would be great when we go. We want to go back to um, the St. Pete Bridge and fish one it gets a little warmer but that little place that we stayed at at the beach there we could do this and we could hack it up to the car and stuff like that there's another one over there a little beach that we could fish off that i'd like to try to but we were up on the pier we couldn't put this up at the pier but we could at those little beach places so let me go and find where my mr bruno is wandering to Bruno, oh, there you are. There to Bruno. He's a good boy. He was out here, so he got back in the car. He knows where the warmth is. <laughs> so, anyways, I'll get, we'll we'll get the car situated, and I'll get him to do that, and we'll we'll attach it on. We'll have to fix that wrap thing there for first. No, <laughs> I'm pulling that. You're not gonna do it. Okay. All right, and this will be fun because we can get into it in and out on the sides and we can also, we can take all our stuff and put it all in there and it won't get wet, you know, if it rains or something and we can sleep in there. So, and we'll have plenty of room. I think it's pretty cool. So, when we get to the car part, I'll turn you back on. Okay, now he's going to put it up. Okay guys, so he's pretty well got it together here. We don't like the gap in between there. I think he'll fix that though. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. I do really, I like it. 
I, I like how you have the little hoof, you know, the, your little, you know, canopy thing here a little bit. I mean, it, it helps a little bit, keeps the rain out. I do have this side kind of all the way up. I wanted to get the screens up because we do have mosquitoes coming out and I didn't want them inside as much as I can. So these, I think it's cool, really. Um, I think we're going to have lots of room in here and we'll be fine. And see, you can take that right there that's on the ground there and you can zip it all the way around. So um, you got that all all zipped in when you have it as a regular tent. But I'm going to get some of this stuff out and put in here and um, yeah. And get it situated so I'm going to take my boots off and do that and then I'll be back to show you what it completely looks like but here's the outside too on the other side so there you go so he's got it strapped around with tires and stuff like that so we'll see how we like it I'll be back Okay guys, so I had to go home. I had to check on my mother. Now I'm back. We had to unzip, zipped it back up, got it all done. Now we're going to cook and we're out of wood. So, I don't know. I should have brought more wood, I guess. Bruno's happy. <laughs> yeah, he's happy. At least it stopped raining. It's cool, but not too bad. Not where I can't stand it. What does the sky look like? Stand it. Huh? I don't know. Look clear. So. So hopefully we'll have a nice day tomorrow. Anyways. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. There's our other light up there. There we go. There we go. So. He's going to start supper. I'm going to sit here and snack on something because I need to eat something. So, if anything happens, anything cool, we decide to do something, I'll be back. So, I forgot the pot. So, when I went home to check my mom, I had to bring one. So, we're sitting here with food. <laughs> kind of. Waiting. It's got a fire going. And it's cold still? No, it's heating up. Oh, okay. I mean, we got to cook the potatoes. I didn't even add the carrots. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There's not enough room. Look at this. Did you cook all those potatoes? Well, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were only going to use four or then five. Why, then why'd you bring eight? I just brought them just in case you wanted them. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe you cooked them all. Oh well. There's no room for the carrots. Well, you should just cook, like, cut like four and then put some carrots in there. And if there was room, you could have put some more potatoes. I didn't have that to do that. No, I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I had that's to go what I should have done, huh? Yeah. I really should have did that. <laughs> I should have done that. Anyways, we're sitting by the fire. At least it's not raining. And, uh, yeah. He ran out of firewood, so whatever's there is there. <laughs> Not like we can't go hunting if we have to, but look how dark it is. I don't know if I want to go hunting out there. <laughs> yeah. So, we might be having this for breakfast. <laughs> That's Once okay. Once burn down, I can put it in directly in the coals. Yeah. That's what he's going to do, so... Anyways, we have neighbors. They have a fire going too. And you can hear that? That generator? Yeah. Hopefully they turn that off before we go to sleep. If not, then I'll be listening to a generator. But, oh well. It is what it is. We'll be back. Everyone, this is Tuesday morning, and it's freezing cold. 
Look at that sun. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is pretty. Oh my goodness, my legs are cramping really bad. It is not easy with me in that car. I don't know what it is. I think I need a better mattress because that mattress is just doesn't work for me. So, oh yeah, it's cold. Somebody's got something here, a trap or something going on. Huh? Yeah, it's breezy. I'll tell you. It hasn't felt like Florida in two months. It has not been nice. We are used at all. And we're not used to this 40 and 30s. In fact, January and February usually it, but not December. And uh, it usually goes right back up, you know. It's so pretty in here. So I thought I... I had to get up and let Bruno out, so... You hear that? Idiot. He rode here on a motorcycle going through here. You know, people are still sleeping here in the tent, so... There's a couple of campers. And then us. There's only three, so... But, um, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm going to go home, probably. Um, yeah, because I have to take care of my mom. I might come back and forth, and I'll bring my camera if I find anything or do anything. I'd like to do some fishing if we could. Um, but these two over here, this camper over here and this one, have basically taken over this whole area. And I guess they figure because nobody is here, so, and then here we came, and, uh, you know, they kind of took over it. I mean, there's a little hut here, a community thing. And they got their bicycles, they got their wood, they got everything there. And uh, it's for everyone. It's not just for them. So, I don't think that's right. You know, people just hog sometimes and think it's their space and that's it. But, um, yeah. Yeah, here comes that motorcycle again. Got to make all that racket and wake everybody up. Idiot. Total, total idiot. There he goes. I don't know if I saw him or not. So, anyways. Nice little area here. I love coming here. It's so pretty. This is my favorite spot. But I like being down. Um, you know. But when we're car camping, we can't... Um, you know, we can't, we can't take tent. Well, we could take tent. Next time we could just take tent and not sleep in the car. But I gotta get me a better mattress. Ugh, it's horrible. I was sliding off of it. and uh, So, I'm up, really. And he's still sleeping. But, uh, anyway, so. It's peaceful out here. It was. So you gotta listen to that crap. People idiots. So I'll bring you back on if we, if we used to do anything or see anything. There's a little creek right here. I went walking because Shaber's sleeping and some idiots on those bikes keep going by and And, I mean, I got up. I can't lay back down now. If I lay back down, I'll be in pain. So, we don't have any wood. A lot of ponds all over the place, but no wood. I'm not spending the night tonight. I'm going to um, go home. Stay with my mom. Um. I'll probably come out here on and off. I heard something. I hear something. I don't know what it is, but I hear something. But this motorcycle, that motorcycle probably um, scared everything away. So, you know, wildlife. You know. So I thought I'd go walking, because we're in the front this time. 
we're not in the back, so. Um, you know, I never really, we've driven down here, but never really explored it that much, you know. It's pretty in here, it really is. It is very pretty. So, I thought I'd give you a little bit of something here. And I might keep it rolling just in case. See that water down there? There's water there. It's all the way through here. I left Bruno in the car, so. I couldn't find his leash and I didn't want to wake Shea Bear, so. But. Peaceful, very quiet. This is very well used a lot, this park. I'm almost to the end. I thought I was, <coughs> it was further. See how pretty that is? That's really pretty. We were watching a thing about um, Bigfoot last night and in Florida. And Bigfoot's been known to be found all around here where I live. Amazing. Like Brooksville is only like 40 minutes away from my house. And Crystal River is another one um, that has been found. And um, Crystal River is like 20 25 minutes, you know, but the Wissacoochee Forest has been known for Bigfoot um, to be sighted, so that would be something. I don't know what they would do. I bet you he lives in here somewhere. And why not? I mean, I, you know, they've never been known to hurt anybody. And, you know, I believe in them. Um, too many people have seen them to not believe them, you know, just, just too much, you know, why, why would these all be a bunch of lies, they all can't be lies, you know, so, here we are, we're at the end, that wasn't as far as I thought it was going to be, sometimes in the morning you can see the deer out, they'll roam around out here, I think I got a picture of them once, and they were pretty close to us, and they were not afraid of us at all. They like to come down here and drink the water. Yeah. There is nobody camping down here, and they say it's full. <laughs> With all the rain, though, you know, a lot of people just don't even bother. I might not go all the way down there because I didn't bring my boots. I mean, they're in the car. I bet you my feet would get soaking wet. See that? This is very marshy in here. And, uh, yeah. Some idiots in there driving. That's why they blocked this all off. They don't want us to do that with our cars. They just blocked it off here. So, ugh. I'm sliding here. Slip sliding away. I'm gonna get these wet. And I only got one pair of socks, I think. Yeah, it's cold. I'll tell you. Sun is out. Thank God, though. Oh, yesterday was horrible. You know, you plan to plan something, and you really want to do it, and and there was just rain and rain and. We just couldn't do what we wanted to do. And by the time we got out here, you know, it was kind of late. You couldn't even fish yesterday. You know, it was sucked. It really sucked. I don't know. This, this seems pretty dry here. Not too bad. But usually you see stuff like the deer running around in here in the mornings. It is so pretty. <laughs> I like coming here. I really do. I really like coming here. No boat airs. Not yet. It's a, it's a little after 8 o'clock, I think. Yeah, so. 
don't know. I, I didn't want to try to climb up and bother him. And so I'm stuck being outside. <laughs> I was hoping to find some wood. You know, a little bit. You know, get a fire going. But we're going to have to... I'll have to bring him some tonight. Because he ain't got none. It's so pretty out here, though. Should bring my fishing rod. They keep moving the picnic tables. I like the picnic table right here. This is where we fish at mostly. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Got the sun going through. Just gorgeous. Yeah. This river is something, I'll tell you. Yeah. Ugh. So. I'll put the camera down, and a bunch of deer will come, <laughs> and I won't get them. Yeah, that's always the way, right? So, let me go down here a little bit and see if I see any wood I can carry back a little bit. Last time we found a bunch of wood, and yeah, we got lucky. So, people leave it, eh? So, but, doesn't look like any down here. Uh -uh. Nope. No wood down here. I could sit here for a few minutes and then I'll go back. Yeah. A little chilly by the water. Yeah. Ooh. I might go back now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sit here for a minute. I wonder what that is. I don't know. Cotton or something. Oh, that's a little wet. A little damp. And not real bad. Ooh, that scared me. That was a bird. He was up in the trees. I ain't gonna cut you off. If I see anything, I'll yank you back on. Okay guys, so now I'm back out here and um, Shaber's got a nice fire going and uh, yeah, I was trying to get, get out of the house and I had my purse and I had my hot chocolate and I had my camera. So Bruno jumped on me and my purse went flying on the floor and my hot chocolate got spilled and I forgot the camera. So, I'm using the phone. And here comes back Shaber with my new light. It work okay? Yeah, it helps guide me, like you said. It helped guide you? Can you can take my light. It Yay, will help guide my you. My new light. And it's pink. It's because it's pink it guided you. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that works. <laughs> So he's telling me a couple of interesting things. So when he gets his videos up, you'll have to go watch them and see what he got himself into. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, we're just sitting here chilling. I wanted to end my video, but you know, that happens. So... It didn't get done the way I wanted to do. But that's okay. Yep. This fire is pretty. Very pretty. Very nice fire. Mm-hmm. Wish we had this last night. Ran out of wood. You did what? What ran, did you do? Ran out of wood. Ran out of wood. Yeah. Yeah, so we had a little fire, but... It was nothing like that. So I brought him more wood. It's in the car. So he has plenty of wood now. So it's good wood that we got yeah. for free. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a free stuff. Mm hmm. We got quite a bit of it, but as we use it, it'll, it'll go quickly. Yeah. Yeah. So we burn a lot in the backyard, too. Yeah. 
So, Bruno is in the car. He won't come out. He's he's done. <laughs> he's done a lot of rooming yesterday and this morning. Oh yeah, and then when I took him home, he slept. He was in, he was in all the rooms this morning. All you can see was a little glimpse of red his red sweater this morning. Yeah. He was way out in the middle there, Aww. looking around. Mm. Yeah, he likes to explore. Yeah, he does. But it wears him out quickly. He yeah. gets tired very quickly. He so. didn't even offer to get up off the couch when you brought me back out here. No, mm -mm. <laughs> no, mm -mm. You said you're ready. Usually he's at the door. He yeah. Just sat there. See you, Dad. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, and he had a nap, and so he wanted to come back out, but he's staying in the car. Yeah. It's the wind is completely gone now. Yeah. You can see the stars. I wish this was last night. Yeah. And of course, this is his last night, and so we have to go home again. Yeah. Well, you're going home tonight. Yeah, I'm going home tonight. <clears throat> I would have stayed two nights, but I just don't want to leave my mom too long right now. So, we'll see. Maybe she gets a little stronger. We can go somewhere else a little further. Yeah. Maybe by then I'll be a little warmer. That's all right. I mean, you know, we still get to get out. So. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We're lucky we have these yeah. so close to us. Yeah, we really are. Drive from the house. Yeah. We're out. Yeah. Out. You know, I mean, you don't hear any cars. Mm, no. Mm -mm. One boat. Yeah, today? That's it. And last night, mm -hmm. all night, and today, all day, one boat. One boat. Yeah. So, peaceful. Yeah. I like the peace. So, anyways, I'm going to end this, and I hope you guys like our videos, and stay tuned. We'll have plenty more coming up. We'll try to get out and do some more camping. Now that we got a new tent, and uh, he's trying it out by itself without the car tonight to see how well it works. And um, you still think that there's plenty of room in there? Yeah. yeah there's... I don't know if it's bigger than ours or what, or not. But yeah, there's, there's enough room in there. Mm-hmm. It seems like we got more room in the other, in our other one. We can't stand all the way up in it. Right. Well, kind of you can, but mm -hmm. you're kind of bent over. This one, you can stand straight up in it and walk around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. like that. So, I think we'll get some good use out of it. Well, we needed one. Yeah, we did. So, and now we have one. And it's, you know, you can use it different ways, so. Yeah. That that's nice. So, anyways, I'm gonna say I'm out, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Mike says bye. Say bye, Jibber. Bye, guys. Oops, I did that again. Bye, guys. I tilted it. Sorry. I saw that. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>